The last couple weeks we've shown you how to improve your game on the green, but first you have to get there. In this week's lesson on the links, River's Edge Club Pro Eric Granada gives us the keys to hitting those perfect drives. There may be no better feeling in golf than pulling the driver out of the bag and pounding one down the middle, but unfortunately for many amateur golfers, that's a lot easier said than done. Most of the trouble you can get into with the driver, it's going to it's going to cost you an extra stroke somehow. If you miss an iron, at least you're around the green, you have a chance to make that up. With a, with a driver, it, it's a big advantage to be able to hit the driver consistently and know where it's going and to be able to get it out there a good distance. When I set up to this driver, to, I'm going to play this ball so it's off my left big toe for a right-hander, right big toe if you're a left-hander out there. And I'm going to set up to it so it's a little bit more forward in my stance because I'm going to be swinging up on this golf ball and, and it, we don't have to hit down on the golf ball quite as much because it's it's sitting on a tee. The second thing I want to make sure that I don't do is, and I see this this happen a lot when people set up to hit their driver, is when they go to put their hands on, they turn their shoulder, they think they have to turn their shoulders to get to it, and it sets them up in an open position so they're automatically lined up wrong. When you set up to it, I'd rather you see you drop your right shoulder because that's also going to help promote a swing that's going to help sweep this golf ball off the tee and keep us more consistency consistent in our accuracy and where the ball is going out there towards the fairway. The third thing is I want to see you swing this club as fast as you can as long as you can finish in a good balanced position. So we want speed with this club. The goal is to get this ball out there as far as possible but we want to be able to do it in a balanced fashion so we can square that club face up. This is one club where speed is definitely our friend and we need to keep that club head moving at a fast pace through this golf ball. We have to swing around our body, so we have to continue that circle going left to hit the ball accurately. That helps us square up the club face so we can hit the ball straighter and essentially further. Ending up over here off the tee can make for a very long hole. But if you follow Eric's tips to hitting the driver, you'll be fine in the fairway in no time. For Channel 11 Sports, I'm Travis Kozak.